Ladies and gentlemen, today coming to the kitchen, we have biscuits and gravy. I am super excited to try this because I definitely miss comfort food. Now, the very first time I ever tried this, I was at a restaurant in my hometown, San Antonio, Mama's Cafe, and I haven't had anything like it since. So I'm excited to show you how we get this started. For today's ingredients, let's start out with the biscuits. That's gonna be two tablespoons of melted butter, one cup of almond flour, two tablespoons of sour cream, one cup of cheddar cheese, two eggs, one tablespoon of baking powder, and then we have a pinch of salt. Now for the actual sausage gravy, it's gonna be one pound of breakfast sausage, four ounces of cream cheese, and a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and start mixing up our ingredients. So in one bowl, we're gonna mix up the melted butter, sour cream, and the eggs in one bowl. So this is my two eggs. Give that a good mix. In another bowl, we're gonna do the one cup of almond flour, one cup of cheese. Make sure we have all of this out of there. And the baking powder. Giving this one a good mix. Now I am using a different spoon than the other mix. You don't have to if you don't want to. Okay, so let me go ahead and mix both of these mixtures together. I absolutely love these little scrapers to get every little bit out of the bowl. Seeing the size of this mixture here, I wish I kind of wish I would have went ahead and doubled it because for these type of biscuits, you can also do them not just for biscuits and gravy, but you can put maybe a fried egg or pieces of bacon on there to make a sandwich. That's what it's kind of mixing up like. And now I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my pan. So right now my oven is already preheating to 400 degrees. And we're gonna see how many biscuits we can get out of this mixture that I have. So that's kind of what it ends up looking like. So now I'm gonna get my baking pan ready. I did decide to go ahead and do just a cupcake pan this time for this recipe. If you don't have one of these, you can still use a flat pan with maybe some parchment paper on. I think either one is gonna be fine. So I use avocado cooking spray. Avocado oil is very good for you as far as being a healthy fat on keto. All right, so that's ready. Now, when I'm separating or putting each one of these in, I do like to use my one third cup scoop. And if I need to go back, I can just go back and add a little bit more as needed. It looks like these are gonna be perfect the perfect size, about one third cup. So this is what the six biscuits is gonna look like. Now I feel like I definitely should have doubled this. Let's go ahead and get our sausage gravy started. That's gonna be one pound of sausage gravy. We're gonna break it up. Right after we break it up, I'm gonna show you guys just a couple of seasonings, just to give you an idea. Cause I do normally say, you know, your seasoning of choice but I'm gonna give you an idea while that's browning of what this could look like for you. So, some of my favorite seasonings to use for when I'm seasoning meat are gonna be by Weber. For example, this one is a brown sugar for Lowry's seasoning salt. You can use a little onion powder, garlic powder. So those are always really good. And for this one, I think I'm just gonna do a little Lowry's now, like a, a lot of the OGs in the kitchen, like I know, they don't tell you how much to put in there. This is just literally a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Sometimes I go by how, what I'm cooking smells. If I don't smell enough in the seasoning in there, um, I'll add a tiny bit more. And maybe a little bit of onion powder. So yeah, we're just gonna let this brown. Then our next step is going to be to add the heavy whipping cream. So 
So this is how the biscuits came out. I cut them in half. So this is two out of the six biscuits that I made and we're gonna go ahead and plate it. So what do you think? Is this something that you might give a try? Do you like the keto spin to the biscuits and gravy? I wanna personally thank you for coming out to check out my channel. To stay updated on recipes, what's going on around here, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe.